If you are feeling lonely, sad, depressed, you are not alone, especially since the stay at home orders have been started since the start of this pandemic. Learn with me how to overcome this loneliness and connect with people and be happy and stay connected and improve your health and well-being. Hello, I am Rajita Bamakandi, registered nurse, faith-based holistic coach and founder of Healthy You Lifestyle Center. If you want to develop healthy habits for life, one step at a time, then click the red subscribe button and the bell icon now. Even before COVID-19, more than 50% of Americans have expressed feeling very lonely. That number has climbed since the pandemic in the last few weeks because of the stay home orders. It is well proven that loneliness has lasting negative effects on our mental health. And also it affects in turn on our physical health. It adds to depression, anxiety, and stress, and can interfere with your ability to have a good night's sleep. This in turn can also affect your physical health. It affects human body twice as much as it does with obesity. You know, we all know obesity has a lot of negative effects, but loneliness is twice as risky than obesity, which can in turn affect your cardiovascular health and also cause you stroke, hypertension, all kinds of other repercussions that can happen with this loneliness that causes negative effects on your health. So you would want to try to take care of this loneliness. And how do we overcome this? These statistics have been like really alarming. And so that is the reason it is very important to address our feelings. And, you know, we as humans, we are social beings. We love to connect with people and we don't want to be staying in isolated state. That is just not our nature. Even, you know, chatting on video or on phone, some type of a connection. We like to connect with people instead of just being secluded in our own space. So can even like catching up, especially the elderly, you know, if you have elderly um, parents, friends, any relatives, please do make sure to pick up the phone and check on them, talk to them, because they are at a much higher risk because, you know, nobody is talking to them while they have lived a vibrant life throughout. And now all of a sudden they are in their own home or in a um, nursing home or any, wherever they are, they would still feel lonely. So uh, just take a few minutes to touch base with them. That will uplift them and you. Both of you will have a good positive effects. And another thing is going outside that really helps going outside connecting with nature it has a very positive effects on us just enjoying that nature get enjoying and connecting with nature that is a huge um a positive mindset that you will have just taking in that fresh air enjoying the beauty of nature smelling um the flowers and that air that's blowing on your face it's just has a tremendous positive effects on you and 
Also, as you're walking down, you can see even seeing people sitting in at their front porch or others that are walking their dogs, you know, just connecting, looking at other people, other lives around you, living creatures around you, that really helps you um, uplift your moods, knowing that there are neighbors around you that are living. So that is also another good way to lift your spirits while you're taking a walk and looking outside and enjoying, waving at them, connecting with them. Um, so so whether you know them or not, just to wave, say hello, connect. Those simple things will show a lot of positive effects on you. And now I want to ask you a question. Have you ever been around a room full of people but still feel lonely? Tell me in the comments below. You know, I have been there. You know, when you go to parties that you don't know and you have just been dragged by somebody else there that place is crowded with people but for some reason you still feel lonely because you are just there in a corner thinking that I don't know anybody you're too shy to go out and talk um, have you been in that situation I would love to know about that tell me in the comments below and how did you handle that situation when you were in that did you go out and talk to people shake hands introduce yourself well nowadays you know we don't want you to shake hands because of this pandemic but you know you can greet them and um, uh, you know, another thing you can do is say namaste. You know, that's welcoming, saying hello to them. That's another way of greeting people. You can do that. So um, I would love to hear that in the comments below. Let me see that, um, how you handled. Um, and um, I can share how I handle some of my situations with you as you're posting below. Um, so um, let me share you some of the studies that have shown that loneliness, depression, and isolation are three to five times more likely for premature death. When you have these things, you know, when you feel you're disconnected by people, these are studies done by Dr. Dean Ornish, who encourages, you know, connecting with people and, um, you know, doing things that make you happy, that uplifts your spirits. Um, that really has, as I said, positive effects on your health, especially for your heart health. It is a very good medicine for your mental and your physical health. So if you are feeling lonely and disconnected, you can start with these five things to see how to overcome your loneliness. So just stay connected with me, watch this video with me until the end so that you can learn about these different things. And also tr you can download um, a document on how to overcome loneliness. Okay, practice number one, practice self-kindness, self-compassion, which most of us lack doing that you know instead of constantly blaming yourself saying that you do not do this right you can never do anything right that is just hurtful do not be engaging in those hurtful behaviors be kind and loving to yourself think about how you would treat your friend as a kind, loving person. So do the same thing to yourself. That is very important to love yourself, look at yourself every day in the mirror and say how much you love yourself and all the good things that you do. Those are very, very important to be very, very kind to yourself and practice that self-kindness every single day, every single moment. And also, Number two, enjoy the present moment that is right now that is with you that you can make a difference. Don't worry about what has happened in the past. 
it's done and gone. You cannot make a difference. Make a difference in your present moment. You know, at this present time, if you feel good and you have done something really good, celebrate that. Celebrate that goodness by, you know, um, talking to people about what you have done by calling them and letting them know your great accomplishments. And when you call, talk to people that will encourage you. Instead, that will put you down. Oh, that's all you did. Don't do that. Don't call that kind of people. Call your friends, um, or your family members that does that do take pride in your um, self accomplishments and encourage you to do more and gives you that positive up uplift and you know try don't think that posting on social media is enough about your celebration it's really connecting with other people more than posting on social media so again the point number three for you to remember to tr try to practice how to get over this loneliness is connecting with the real life out there. You know, instead of that social media, building strong connections with people. When you are talking with them, make that eye contact. Don't be get, getting distracted with the phones or other type of gadgets that, you know, you're saying to them, oh, I'm listening to you, to you talk to me, but you are there on your laptop or other gadgets, you know, constantly, don't do that connect with them, eye level contact and really interact. Be mindful at that present moment, be at that present moment and enjoy every bit of that conversation and have a back and forth conversation, which will really help you lift your spirits. And um, also even you know, picking up the phone and calling if you don't have anybody around. So that will, that's also another thing that will help you with that connection with the humans instead of that social media. I know we are all connected with social media quite a bit, but that social um, a connection, that actually human connection is more important. And that is the one that will make a difference in uplifting your spirits and overcoming your loneliness than the connection on your social media. Um, point number four, rethink how you spend your spare time. This is really something you really need to think about how that time you are opting to spend while you're at home all those nights. You know, how would you like, do you like to just spend time watching Netflix and um, just, you know, chatting away on your social media, you know, playing on Facebook? Can you, you know, that really gets you get stuck in that loneliness by doing that. That's all you're doing. You know, think about it. Is that how you want to spend your days and nights? Just, you know, you're connecting, you know, playing those games, talk, you know, just watching movie after movie. Um, that's really not connecting you to people. So instead, build your relationships talk to your friends, talk to your family that really matter to you in your life. You know, it, don't do it, just try once and stop it. You have to do these things repeatedly over and over again. That's what is going to build your relationship and build that social connection where you can connect with people and enjoy that connection, enjoy that conversation with them. And then point number five, you know, um, talking to strangers also helps. Research should suggest that even interacting with strangers, 
something like when you go um, shopping um, uh, at the checkout line, you see a cashier just have a conversation. Hey, how is your day going? Looks like you have had a busy day or it's a slow day. Um, you know, um, what's what's going on um, with things? It's okay to say that. And same thing, when you go out for a walk, even if you don't know somebody, say, hi, how are you? How are things going? You know, just because they are strangers does not mean you can connect. Same thing if you go to um, some type of a gathering and that's your first time around, it's okay. You can go and introduce yourself and talk and just make small conversations. That's what really makes you um, uh, full of energy, brings you those uh, good hormones in you, those happy hormones, makes you happy, feel, makes you feel like you are connected to people around you. Um, so those are the things you would really want to start off practicing so that you can overcome that loneliness so that it will keep your mental health and your physical health at check at at a par you know where you are in good spirits at all times so again when you do experience your loneliness your stress level goes up that increases your cortisol levels and then it impairs your immune system. And if your stress level is at a high, high all the time, if your cortisol levels are elevated all the time, then that becomes chronic. So you don't want to get into that rut of that loneliness. Loneliness can just become a circle where you cannot get out. So you don't want to be in that circle. You want to try to get out of it and you want to try to make many efforts of getting out of it. There is more than one wants to get out of loneliness. So don't be getting sucked into that uh, lonely, depressive mood. Don't be around people that will suck you into that. That negative energy will just suck you in. You want to be at a higher vibration. You want to say to yourself, I love myself. I am way better than this. Because you remember that energy flows from high to low. So you want to be at that high energy level uh, to say, okay, I am not at that low level. I am going to be high up here. Because if you are associating with people at that low level, you will be still going around in that rut of that negativity. Do not be in there. Say to yourself, I love myself. I enjoy being with others. I want to have a conversation. Yes, whether, you know, I have family members, I have friends, whether they are there or not, okay if they're not there go out and make different friends uh, talk to different people uh, don't be so glued on to that social media so that's my big advice because the more you connect with human life the more you will feel uplifted and keep your vibrations at a very high level so that you can stay up there and also enjoy staying up there that will lift your mental health and your physical health so uh, sometimes as i was saying it can become a rut to get out of it and it might even mean getting out of your comfort zone so it's okay to get out of that comfort zone. So get out of that comfort zone. It might take extra effort for you to get out of that comfort zone. So push yourself over and over again to get out of that loneliness and stay at a very high vibration level so that your um, engagement, your thoughts, everything is at a much higher level and associate with people that keep your spirits high up and keep you engaged and celebrate with you and encourage you. Um, so that's the way you can get out of this loneliness and stay healthy, mental and physical healthiness. 
download my um, free um, PDF document in the description box below, how to get out of loneliness. And let me know in the comments below, what are you doing? What's working for you? All right. I am your faith-based holistic coach. Until next time, choose the right option.